Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, collaborators of St. Paul in the work of mission. Let us pray in this Mass that we may also be like Saints Timothy and Titus, as we work for God's mission of evangelization, of proclaiming God's love and mercy to the world now. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you gave us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, 
by the will of God for the promise of life in Christ Jesus to Timothy, my dear child. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did as I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy, as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stare into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, ye families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, 
eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel today, Jesus chose 72 disciples who would be his co-workers in proclaiming the good news. And today, we also celebrate the memorial of two of St. Paul's closest co-workers in the mission. Just as Jesus had co-workers in the task of proclaiming the gospel, St. Paul also had many collaborators, and the two closest of them were Saints Timothy and Titus, who we honor today. Paul met Timothy in Lystra in one of his missionary journeys. And Paul converted Timothy to Christianity. And we all know that St. Paul wrote two letters to Timothy both are included in our Bible. In fact, our first reading today is from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Timothy later became the bishop, the first bishop of Ephesus. And Timothy could be considered as the favorite co-worker of St. Paul. In one of St. Paul's letters, he, he would say, referring to Timothy, I have no one like him. And so Timothy was a precious collaborator and friend to St. Paul. St. Paul met Titus in Antioch. Titus was Greek, and he was well-educated. Titus became St. Paul's companion and secretary. Titus even accompanied Paul in his journey to Jerusalem to attend the First Council of the church, the Council of Jerusalem. And St. Paul would also write a letter to Titus, which we could also find in the New Testament. And Titus also became a bishop. He was the bishop of Crete. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, what bonded Paul Timothy and Titus was Jesus and their common desire to make Jesus known. Ang nagbuklod sa kanila, ang dahilan ng kanilang pagsasama-sama ay si Jesus at ang kanilang pagnanais na ipahayag si Jesus. What a beautiful reason of being together. What a beautiful reason of becoming friends. They are friends in the Lord. Siguro kung gagamitin natin ang ating bakabularyo sa panahong ito, sasabihin natin ang tatlong ito 
si Pablo, si Timoteo at si Tito ay magbabarkada dahil kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, who are your friends? Sino ba ang mga kaibigan nyo? Sino ba ang barkada ninyo? At ano ba ang dahilan kung bakit kayo magkakaibigan? What is the reason why you are united? What is the foundation of your friendship? Is it just common interest? Dahil pare-pareho kayo ng interest kaya naging magkakaibigan? Is it just common hobbies? Mahilig kasi kaming sa sports na ito. O mahilig kaming manood ng pelikula. What binds you as friends? Maybe common political ideologies. Magkakakampi dahil sa iisang paniniwala sa politika. What unites you? With your friends, I hope it is Jesus, because friendship will only be true and lasting if it is Jesus who is the reason why we are friends. Bakak magkakaibigan lang kapag kainan o kapag merong biyayang pakikinabangan. Baka magkakaibigan lang na pinagbubuklod ng chismisan, no? nagsasama-sama para pag-usapan ang buhay ng iba. Baka magkakaibigan lang kapag may pakinabang yung bawat isa sa isa't isa. If that is the basis of our friendship, then that friendship is not authentic. It will not be lasting. What unites us should be Jesus. Sa panahon ngayon na kanya-kanyang grupo, kanya-kanyang kampihan, saan ang dahilan ng ating pagkakampi ay si Jesus. Walang iba kundi si Jesus at ang mga bagay na konektado kay Jesus. Let us be united in Jesus And let us be united in the things of Jesus, like truth, honesty, justice, compassion, mercy, and love. If these are what unites us, then we are sure that we are united in the Lord, and our unity, our friendship, will be lasting and true. Please stand. Let us present before the Lord our petitions Let us remember that God hears our prayers, and for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy the light, happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions 
we remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your children, united in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. And in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For us on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Timothy and Titus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page. Our host for this evening is the parish community of Virgen de los Remedios in San Fernando, Pampanga. And we will pray the Holy Rosary in front of the images of Virgen de los Remedios and Santo Cristo del Perdón. And so we once again encourage you to gather as a family and as a community and together implore the maternal intercession and help of Our Lady, of Our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, for our family, for our country, and for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.